Hey guys, Sarah here. Um, this is going to be my 30 day raw vegan challenge or something along those lines. As some of you know, I am vegan. I have been vegan for several years and I do try to eat as much raw as possible. However, I'm going to admit I also have some very terrible eating habits. I do eat a lot of processed foods, sugar, breads, alcohol, these kinds of things. And for obvious reasons, they just don't make me feel good. They don't really fit into my life anymore and I need to get rid of them. So what I want to do is just for 30 days, go 100% raw and then um, I can not only break the habit of eating these things, but also all of these chemicals that are in my body that are making me crave, like physically crave these things, uh, will be out of my body by that point. And so it'll be a little easier for me to make rational decisions. So the reason I'm gonna like vlog about this is because I think there's a lot of you out there who may already be raw vegan or maybe aspiring to be raw vegan who can offer me a lot of advice and support. So just, yeah, feedback about maybe what's going on or what I can be eating and these kinds of things. And then also because maybe there's some of you that are going through something similar where you're wanting to clean up your diet or you're having certain symptoms or cravings or whatever and hopefully what I'm going to share here will help you guys or empower you guys to make changes in your own lives. So my goal here is to do the 30 days completely raw and I'm going to try to touch base with you guys every other day about how I'm feeling and what I'm eating. I don't want to do it every day because there's other topics that I want to cover on this channel. So we're going to aim for every other day and I'll just, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then at the end of the 30 days, we'll just see how I feel. Do I want to, yeah, introduce a couple of things back in or stay totally raw? We'll see what happens. So I guess for starters, I'll just share a little bit about why I'm choosing to go this route in the first place. And I just made a little list here. So... First of all, um, my energy has been really, really low. Like some days I don't even want to get out of bed. It's just like I feel I have no energy. And then the other thing too is my mood has been terrible. So I feel depressed or sad, um, irritable, extremely irritable. And I know that this all has to do with brain chemistry, which has to do with diet. So I want to clean that all up. And then also you like my skin, like I've been breaking out all in my neck and jaw, jaw area. I know that has to do with the sugar. You know, you can start noticing more like wrinkles or dry skin or chapped lips. And that again is all to do with diet. Um, and then, uh, yeah, my nose runs like all the time. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's parasites or if it's allergies or what, but I know when I kind of clean up my diet a little bit, it seems to alleviate that somewhat. So that's, I don't know, maybe you guys can share some ad advice on, um, or insight, I guess, on what that would be. And then, oh yeah, my sleep hasn't been great, so I will toss and turn, or wake up in the middle of the night, can't get back to sleep, these kinds of things. And then the other thing too is like, I'm a really active person, and like there is no need for this little thing that's going on right here and it doesn't make me feel good because I it just like I know it's not supposed to be there I know this is just diet and I know that I can get rid of it very easily it's my little food belly <laughs> but it's got to go and so those are the reasons why I'm kind of embarking on this to start and then also obviously there's some benefits to this like it is more sustainable so the reason it's more sustainable is because I'm not using as much electricity or power, obviously, because I'm not firing up the oven, firing up the stove. If anything, it'll be the dehydrator, but that is minimal amount of electricity. And then I'm gonna need to eat less because when you cook your food, you remove a lot of the nutrients. And so you need to eat more to get the same nutritional value. Also, when you're eating a lot of these empty carbs and stuff like that, then you don't feel full, so you eat more and more. And when you're eating a raw food diet, you're going to feel satisfied, you're getting your nutritional content, and 
you're just going to need to eat less. So I'm going to save money. And then there's more food for other people. So that's kind of a win-win. And then I don't know how spiritual some of you are. I certainly am very. And so um, this is actually my main, main reason for doing this. I mean, all the health benefits are just a bonus and the saving money is just a bonus. But really, at the end of the day, what um, what I want to be doing here is raising the global consciousness. We all are connected. We are all universal consciousness. And so by me eating these higher vibration foods, I'm raising my own vibration, which then in turn raises the global um, vibration. And the world is like, it's just a really rough place these days. And I, I always sit and think like, how can I make it better? What more can I do? And this is just one of those things. It's just a, an extra thing that I think I can do to help raise it up and try to make the world a better place. So, so that's my goal. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll keep you guys posted on what I'm eating. I follow intermittent fasting. So you can do some more research on that, but it's very beneficial. You burn more calories, your memory increases. There's all sorts of benefits to intermittent fasting. And it's not restricting your calories. It's just restricting the window in which you consume those calories. So for me, I actually don't start to eat anything until about one o'clock in the afternoon. So all morning, my body is flushing out stuff. It's healing. It's burning off fat. I am drinking water. I'll be drinking clean, filtered water. I usually add some apple cider vinegar in there. And then around one o'clock, I eat some uh, flax seeds, chia seeds, and you know, get it back with some water. And I make myself a nice big giant smoothie that has all sorts of awesomeness in it. And then later on in the evening, maybe around five or six, I'm either gonna have a big giant salad or I'm gonna be more creative and make something maybe in my dehydrator or just whatever, but like a nice big giant raw vegan meal. And then no eating past eight o'clock, in bed by 10, and I'm also going to try to do some saunas or steam rooms just to help flush out toxins. Exercise as well. I'm going to try to do some yoga at least every other day. If not, I don't want to say that. <laughs> that seems really ambitious. But anyways, I'm going to try to do yoga a couple times a week. And I have a subscription to Gaia, which you guys should all check out. I'll leave that in the link or the description box below. But basically, they have thousands of alternative media videos on their documentaries, just short little talks. And then they also have a ton of yoga videos. So that's where I'll be getting my yoga. I'll just pick a different yoga video every day and... Um, and I, I walk my dog twice a day too, so that I'm sure counts as well. And oh yeah, dry skin brushing. If I have a bath, I'll put Epsom salts in the bath. Again, this is just to pull toxins out and stuff. And uh, enemas too. I know that might weird some of you out, but whatever. It's a thing and it is super good for you. So we can go more into detail about that later, but I will be um, incorporating colonics into this as well. Just to get everything out, I want to reset. And at the end of this 30 days, I want to be vibrant and healthy and just ready to rock this world. So if you guys have any advice for me, please leave it in the description box below or sorry, in the comments below. I would love any advice you can give me. And if you have questions or you're curious about how I'm feeling or what I'm eating, please feel free to ask. Um, I think what, what's going to be my biggest challenge is the cravings. I, I have some serious cravings, especially in the evening. And I know part of that has to do with the chemicals that are in my body. And so I'm going through withdrawal. So I'm actually you know, craving these foods, but then also someone presented the theory to me that it could be parasites. So, because parasites can mind control their hosts. So you have these parasites that are living in you that love sugar, they love yeast, they love all this stuff. And when you cut them off, they kind of get pissed off. And so they're kind of like, feed me, feed me. And I don't want to feed them. I want them cut off. So I'm going to try to fight these cravings, whether it is just actually the chemicals leaving my body or the parasites. Either way, I may incorporate some anti-parasitic uh, type herbs and stuff like that. Haven't quite decided on that yet, but I'll keep you guys informed. And yeah, again, any advice you can give me would be excellent. And yeah, 
Thanks so much for your time, and I hope you guys have a really fantastic day.